feeding your baby the wrong foods can really harm their health. Baby can have illnesses, they can even stop breathing. Unable to move their body because they eat a harmful food. If you have questions or doubts about what food to feed your baby or toddler, then today's video may be helpful to you. So keep watching. Hello and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Corinne Robinson. I'm a children's nurse practitioner. Today's video is about seven foods you should avoid feeding young babies or toddlers. Number one, salt. You may be thinking everything tastes better with salt, right? For this reason, you may want to add salt to your baby food. However, too much salt is not good for your baby. Their tiny kidneys are just too immature and underdeveloped to process too much salt. Hold off on that salt because it can cause your baby to have high blood pressure and your baby will always prefer salty foods in the future. So stop adding salt to your baby food. Check the label of your packet baby food for hidden excess salt. This milk and formula milk has just the right amount of salt that your baby needs. Number two food you should avoid feeding your baby or young toddler is honey. Tasty, sweet and delicious but no good for your baby because honey can contain bad bacteria in them. When children under one eat honey, then that bacteria is absorbed through their digestive system and can make them very, very ill. The type of food poisoning that mainly affects babies under one year of age. This will make baby feel weak, appear limp, and unable to move his arms or legs. Horny infant botulism is life-threatening because your baby can stop breathing. And for all these reasons, it's best to wait until after baby's first birthday to introduce horny in her diet. Fruit juices and smoothies are healthy, right? But not for your baby. Avoid giving children under one year of age fruit juices because fruit juices are high in natural sugars and are very acidic. Way too much sugar in fruit juices that can damage your baby's teeth sugar can also make your baby put on unhealthy weight. Offer water to your baby instead of unhealthy fruit juices. However, mommies and daddies, if you insist on giving your babies fruit juices, then there are some things you should know. Number one, only offer the juice in a cup or beaker and always dilute fruit juices with water before giving it to your baby as this will help protect your baby's teeth. Avoid feeding your baby certain type of fish because some fishes are high in mercury that they absorb through their gills and this mercury is not good for your baby's brain or nervous system. Avoid things like shark, mackerel, merlin. These are high mercury fishes. So make sure mamas that you choose fish low in mercury. Cow's milk is number four on my list of foods to avoid feeding baby before one year of age 
because your baby cannot digest unpasteurized cow's milk easily. Their digestive system is just too immature. The protein in cow's milk is hard for baby to digest and can also cause damage to your baby's kidneys. Unpasteurized milk can have harmful bacteria which can make your baby very very ill. Cow's milk puts your baby at risk of having tummy bugs, vomiting, tummy pain, fever. Cow's milk just does not have the necessary nutrients and minerals that your baby needs to grow and develop properly. It's fine to use cow's milk in cooking, but avoid cow's milk before baby's first birthday. Avoid feeding your baby choking hazard foods. Foods that do not dissolve in baby's mouth or cannot be merged with their gum are sometimes dangerous to babies. Some foods are choking hazards and should not be given to children under five years old as they can choke on them, like popcorn, chewing gum, hot dogs, raw film vegetables, because these foods can get stuck in your baby's throat and choke them. Instead, offer baby thin, crushed or flake or ground nut butter to eat instead. The number six food on my list to avoid feeding young babies and young children are unpasteurized cheese. Unpasteurized cheese can contain harmful bacteria and this bacteria is called listeria and it's especially common in soft cheese. So it's best to avoid mold ripened soft cheese like brie, goat's milk cheese and soft blue vein cheese. Cheeses are very important part of your baby's diet so use it safely and wisely so what kind of cheese are safe for your baby to eat whole fat pasteurized cheese is best for baby remember you can kill listeria by cooking so baked cheeses are safer option for your baby Raw or lightly cooked eggs can be harmful to your baby. Although it's true that eggs contain protein and iron that your baby need from six months of age, advice from health experts here in the UK and the USA says that you should avoid giving baby raw or lightly cooked eggs because of the risk of salmonella. Some babies can also be allergic to the egg whites, so be careful too. And to prevent the risk of salmonella, you should always serve eggs to your baby that is fully cooked. Cooking eggs fully destroys the salmonella and makes it safer for your baby to eat. Thank you so much for watching my video and don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe.